Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here with my first handbag unboxing of 2024. And this is maybe not a surprise for some of you who have been here before. At the end of 2023, I kind of hinted that my husband bought a handbag for me, but I won't be getting it in until later. So here we are. I am traveling. So if you have also been here before, you'll know that this isn't my usual setup, but I wanted to make sure I film it so that I could use it. So um, hence, the different background. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love a fashion travel luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. Today's handbag unboxing is very exciting because I have seen this uh, in the stores, I think maybe early December. So it's definitely been a long time coming and I've been looking forward to it. I wanted to make sure I am able to get my hands on it. So I kind of shipped it to where I knew I was going. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. This was shipped to me uh, and it is a Louis Vuitton piece. It is one that I had on my wish list for a little bit, um, but I found the, the color combination that I wanted, so I kind of had to get it. Uh, so here we are. This is, I don't know if you can guess what it is, but let me just show you the box here. Okay. So here's the box. My essay did not wrap this up because she knew I was traveling and actually most likely she is going to give me a box when I get home because I then don't have to bring this with me. But let me just show you. This is a magnetic closure right here. It's a very nice box. Usually there's also a blue ribbon, but like I said, she just kind of overnighted this and knew that I probably won't take the box with me, but packaged it anyway so that I could get the full experience. Um, if you have gotten Louis Vuitton boxes before, you'll know that this is a special box. The, uh, the lid here, it has this extra uh, flower. I don't know if you can see that right there, the Louis Vuitton kind of flower. So this is special and I have actually unboxed something with this kind of box before so maybe this won't come as a surprise to you if you if you've seen that video but any final guesses and there's even a little sticker of the flower lovely oh, interesting I, I can kind of see in the viewfinder that there are little checks here kind of matching my top by the way if you're interested in this top it is on sale right now i'll link it below um, but i can't really see it in person but i can see it on the viewfinder so that's very interesting wow it's very well packed okay. we'll just wiggle this out wow there is a ton a ton of padding in here um, so I never have a bag shipped to me before I usually pick it up in stores so this is very exciting uh, there is a special tag as you can see on this bag uh, it, it has the Louis Vuitton kind of writing but it's embro embroidered into the bag so it's not printed it is actually embroidered into the bag and like I said there is this special tag uh, that says Louis Vuitton uh, and then this is drawstring so it's a very nice drawstring bag uh, it is also like kind of lined on the inside with a special material so this is a special bag uh, okay any final guesses to reveal my newest handbag, the Mini Capucines. This one is in the exotic leather, um, the Korong leather, which is a water snake. It is endogenous to Southeast Asia, but it is not considered in danger. So uh, it is one of the more durable special skins. And yeah, it is beautiful. Look at that shine. I have always been like kind of intrigued by exotic skins but i've always shied away from it as well because i don't like this the feel of it so nathan actually got a croc um i think it was like a card holder i think it was like a pocket organizer actually from louis vuitton and i actually liked i like liked it okay so i kind of like 
looked at things over the year but um, this one caught my eye because it is so beautiful look at that and um, I have looked this up this material up it's a lot easier to take care of than your usual croc or python um, it it is very durable and it doesn't lift like the python would so I thought this was a good one to kind of dip my toes in to see if I even like it. And it is definitely different than anything else I have in my collection. So when Nathan saw that I was interested, he offered to get it for me as my gift for the year. So it's not just a Christmas gift, it's like a for the year because it is quite expensive. So it was a very generous gift for sure. Um, so the inside, you can see that it is very much like a Capucines. I have the BB size. This is the mini size. This is one size down. And you can see that it does have the flower here. So you can wear it on the inside like this or you can wear it flap on the flap out. The front actually has the LV kind of shape right there, but if you don't want to wear it that way, you can also put the flap so that it's sitting up front and you get a kind of different look. The bag itself on the inside is lined with a leather. This one is kind of like a champagne gold leather. Um, I have the strap in here as well. So this strap is the same leather material, the water snake, in that sort of gold and bronzy silver color. It is adjustable and it has clips at the end right here where you can clip it onto the bag. That is one thing that I actually kind of wished this bag had, which was the hooks on the side. But um, it is a much smaller bag and when I wore it um, hooked onto the you know, inside here, it looked okay, so I, I was okay with that. Uh, there is a booklet here, and it does say um, uh, Cure Exotic. I think that means, I, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's uh, exotic leather, so it does have a little booklet for how you uh, keep it, as well as um, telling you the makeup, which is, like I said, the Coron leather on the outside, and it's goat skin on the inside, so that... It's confirmed in here. There is also, if you get the exotics, there's also a special pillow that you get with it. So this is, um, I don't know if you can kind of see, but it has the Louis Vuitton kind of sim symbols of the flowers, the fleur-de-lis, and yeah. So it's very cute and it's kind of in the trapezoid shape so that it fits nicely in your capucines. My essay also included a pair of white gloves in here so that you can kind of handle your bag. I can ask her for more information, but I think you can also use this to kind of like clean your bag and buff out your bag. So I, I will, I'll ask her for more information about this because um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but yeah, I can see like, you know, you can kind of keep it clean and yeah. So it's beautiful. It has four feet at the bottom and let me just show you the inside. So you can see that it's two compartments lined with this same uh, goatskin leather and there's like a little uh, tab right here to hold this when you close it like that. It doesn't, unlike my mini, it doesn't have the closure across but it's so tiny I don't think you need it. I did make sure that my phone fits in here so I have the Pixel 8 and you can see that if I were to slip it in sideways it falls in very nicely. I can also slip it in the front as well and it'll fit no problem. Um, and then if I want it to fit it in tall ways, so like this, it'll also fit like that. So uh, once, I, once my phone fit in here, I was like, okay, I can use this. This is a great bag for like a party setting. Um, it's also great for, I mean, the holidays, which has passed now, but I could see myself wearing it during Valentine's Day, Lunar New Year, like all of that stuff is perfect. So yeah, and I love the subtlety. It's not like super bam in your face, but it looks very different than a lot of my other bags. It is also extremely, like I said, durable, so I wouldn't be worried about wearing it out, even if it's like to a party for example so it looks great held in the hand like this on the crook of your arm but i can also add in this leather strap so that i could be hands-free i did talk to my essay about wanting a 
a different strap to be more dressy and um, she will be helping me order that strap in and then I can show you once it gets in but um, overall it's just so you know it is a uh, metal chain it's a short chain so that I could wear it on the shoulder and then it'll look very um, I think dressy this shoulder strap is nice because it's adjustable and you can kind of wear it uh, more casually so on me um you'll see that i can i can reach the bottom of the bag so that's great so that means i can get into the bag grab stuff easily i can also wear it cross body and you can kind of see that it is um hitting me at a really good this is my hip it'll, it'll be hitting me at a very good spot right there so i think this is the perfect kind of you know bag size for me the length is great and like i said once i get the special strap metal strap in i will also be able to show you how do i wear it if you want to see me wear this i don't know if i'll be having any of these photos soon but my outfit photos will be available on my instagram at clutch to carry all if you would like to see it in the wild so i really do want to make sure that this bag does stay very clean i don't want things spilling in there but I also really want to use it so one of the things i am going to do is put organizers in there i did request zumoni to send me one for this because i know this one's kind of a little bit more delicate than the other capucines that i have so i did get a package from zumoni they were nice enough to send this to me um, so it always comes in this packaging where it says thank you um, so that's really nice and i chose this mauve color and you can see that there are two pieces. Uh, they're the same style, same size, because it's just two pockets. And it always comes with like a little um, note tag here. You, you're not supposed to clean it. You're just supposed to wipe, wipe clean, but don't like wash it. But this is usually something I would use for lipstick or even like cards. And then the two, like I said, are exactly the same. So it's one big compartment with a slip pocket. So. There is already a slip pocket in the back. I, I don't know if I showed you that already, but like it's right there. So I don't usually use that pocket, but, oh, by the way, I don't know if I, if I showed you, it does say Louis Vuitton here made in France. So anyway, let's pop these in. I got this one in the 1.2 mm size. The 1.2 mm is the thinner of the two that Zumoni offers. They also offer the two. But I thought since this was a smaller bag and it's fairly structured, I went with a thin one to, to save space. They are pretty soft and malleable, so they'll slip in here no problem. Wow, that's a perfect fit. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's in there um, pretty nicely. And then I'll also put this one in there as well. So slip that right in. Wow, that is perfect. Yeah, so these are felt organizers and you can kind of see that they, they line the bag very well and they won't distort your bag because they're soft enough. So they'll keep it protected and keep you organized, but not be intrusive. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's great. Look at that. So you can still kind of see everything, all the colors, but there's an extra layer of protection where you can add to your bag. Let's say you only anticipate putting something in the back that is problematic. So like, let's say your lipstick or your perfume that you want to bring, you're going to keep in the back. You can actually only, you know, use one of them and not use the other. Um, I think these one could fit in a lot of other different bags as well. So you can definitely be more versatile and use it in, the, uh, in your other bags. So yes, this one is amazing. I have used Zumoni organizers a lot and I have con I'm have continuing to use them. I've done some videos before, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you. If you are interested in getting this organizer for a mini capucines or a uh, mint capucines BB or any other Louis Vuitton or Chanel or Dior uh, bag organizers, um, I will list this one below um i will also list my promo code which is angelin that'll get you 20 percent off of your entire purchase so take advantage of that and if you're interested in some of my other organizers that i have gotten from zumoni that did wonders i will also pop though that video here as well 
I hope you guys liked this unboxing video. This one is one of the things I've wanted to have in my collection and now I do in this beautiful leather. Uh, thank you to my husband for the gift. I will definitely treasure it. Um, and it's my first exotic piece. I also want to thank my essay for packing it so nicely and being so thoughtful for including, um, you know, the gloves and everything else. And yeah, I don't know if you guys have exotics before, um, what you think of it. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm just venturing out a little bit since I have a lot of cow leather, lambskin leather, goatskin leather. So yeah, let's see how this one goes. Thank you again to Zimoni for sending me this. If you are interested, I'll link this below as well as the promo code Angelin for 20% off. I'd love to hear if you picked up one for your bag, what bag it was and what you think of it. Stay tuned for more unboxings and tutorials coming. I will also do an update on my Hermes Birkin handbags and what it looks like. I've gotten a lot of questions um, this past like few months about it so I thought maybe I would just do an updated review. If you're interested in that make sure to hit the subscribe button notification bell so that you'll be notified when a video pops up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!